You want to explain what you did here, Cass? I tore out this bush. It was going all the way over here and it would like hang down here and like the wood was getting all yucky and it was all through there. So I spent like an hour and just ripped it up. All right, it is Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. We had a yard sale this morning. So starting at like eight o'clock, Cassie and I woke up at seven and got the yard sale set up. Her sister and my sister-in-law and my mom all brought a couple of little things. My parents brought some furniture and we just had a yard sale. And then while we were hanging out, my dad was a little bored so he actually ripped the whole front fence out for me because I am putting it in the back by the chickens. So we have this picket fence up front around the grass and I didn't really like it up front so we were gonna tear it out. And then when I was back here, I realized we could put that same fence in the back to keep Hazel out of the chickens because all Hazel wants to do when she's out here is go get into the chicken coop and those trees back there have a bunch of sap on them. So it literally, it only takes you like two minutes to get covered in sap and bark and chicken poop. You're getting pretty quick for a 14 month old. I also should mow today because the grass is getting tall enough to mow fairly regularly. And tomorrow after church, we're gonna go play ultimate frisbee in the afternoon for the first time since all the coronavirus lockdown. At the moment this fence is is not in place it's just sort of leaning up against sticks and against the trees right now but this is the basic area it's gonna go so to be clear yes I know that reusing the posts with the same old concrete on them is not going to make them as strong as if I were to use like new posts and put fresh concrete in the hole but this fence is more for looks than it is for use. I'm not really worried about it being super strong because the chickens aren't strong and my one-year-old isn't very strong so I'm not going to go spend money on fresh concrete I'm just going to bury the posts as they are and if it crumbles in two years then no big deal because I can change it then but I'm just trying to work with what I got here. My mom and dad brought us this little kid's table and chairs because it was at their property and they weren't using it. So there's a couple of repairs we need to make on it, but we've got this now for the kiddos. So I whipped this together as best as I could with limited resources. I did this sloppy little gate here. Uh, reference for those of you who haven't been watching for six months this whole back half of my what is now grass was trees and shrubs and weeds and everything way overgrown so here's these stumps in the middle of my grass that haven't rotted out yet from what I cut them four months ago now I cut most of them as low to the ground as I could without ruining my chainsaw and then I because of all the dirt I moved from here back there a lot of them just got buried some of them are like just at ground height and the grass is sort of growing up in between them and I'm hoping if I just keep mowing and the grass keeps growing they'll they'll die out and I, eventually I'll come out here and they won't be there and I'll be like, oh remember when there were stumps out here?
All right, so my parents watched Hazel while we played Frisbee, and then after Frisbee for about two hours, we went and picked Hazel up, and we just stayed at my parents' house for dinner. And now we're back home. It's Sunday night at about 7, we're putting Hazel to bed. It's like 7.30, actually. Let me know what you guys thought of the fence. Let me know what you guys think of the yard. And Frisbee season should be more consistent now because the virus stuff is sort of fading out and Oregon has reached phase two of the reopening, so we'll be playing Frisbee a little more often. But I'm going to wrap this up because it's a little cold out here. I will see you guys next Tuesday.